have someone that needs their dressing changed. We can help with that. First, you have to prep. I can help you with the first step of IV Sight Care by helping to reduce bacteria on the surface of the skin so you can move on to the next steps with the rest of my friends. It is important that you rub me in for the right amount of time and follow the manufacturer's written instructions. This may vary depending on the body site and whether I contain alcohol or not and can also contribute to the surface area I cover. Alcohol helps me to work more quickly, and dry body sites generally have fewer bacteria that are more easily removed than moist body sites. Remember, I must be allowed to air dry completely to maximize my efficacy and reduce the risk of flammability before moving on to the next step. Nice job! Now it's my turn! Protect! Now that you've used saw you to prepare the skin and the site is totally dry, you can apply me. Make sure to apply a uniform coating of film over the entire area. I will help protect from adhesive trauma at the infusion site and create a strong base to apply Tega to. Wait approximately 30 seconds for the film to dry completely. I protected another one. You're up, Tega. Secure. Thanks to Saw You and Cavi, the site is now ready to be secured. Once the site is totally dry, position me with the insertion site in my transparent window. This will allow you to monitor the site while I am applied. Make sure there's at least one inch of intact skin around the insertion site and that my notched end is over the catheter hub. But whoa, make sure you don't stretch me as this could cause stress to the skin. Bring my soft cloth tabs down on either side of the notch to fit snugly around the catheter and under the hub. Make sure the tabs kiss <laughs> under the catheter to form a tight seal. Now slowly remove my paper frame while smoothing down my edges with your fingertips. This will help me to stay in place and prevent lifting. Smooth the dressing from the center towards the edges and apply firm pressure to make sure I stick. Make sure to remove the wide sterile tape strip from my paper frame. Go ahead and secure the wide strip under the catheter hub. Finally, apply the documentation strip over the catheter hub. I'll get stronger over the next 24 hours. And I can stick around for up to seven days. All right, that line should be secure for a week. Let's head home. Great work, Tega. I'll wait here in case the skin breaks down and call everyone back if you're needed. There must be some skin breakdown developing near the IV site. I'll call the gang. Don't worry, I'll remove myself so that we can help manage the site. Remove the documentation strip from over the top of the catheter hub and then remove the wide securement strip from under the catheter. Separate the stabilization border tabs and gently peel the distal edge of the dressing back on itself towards the insertion site. Support both the catheter at the insertion site and the skin during dressing removal to help prevent catheter migration and skin trauma during dressing changes. You guys remember the steps. Remember to prep. And protect. Now manage. Use sterile scissors to cut a U-shape in my border. Be careful not to cut my acrylic pad, though. And don't use me to secure the site. You'll still need Tega over top for securement. Hold me by a tab and peel my liner away to expose my adhesive surface. Place my sticky side down with the U-shape you cut placed around the insertion site. Gently press me in place and smooth from the center out. Now, slowly remove the paper frame while pressing down on my film border to make sure I stick for up to seven days.
do it all over again on other wounds, if necessary. Apply me over top of the acrylic dressing. Great job, team. That one could have been complicated. Great work, team. Thanks for all your help. 3M IV Sight Care Products. Good apart, but better together. together.